Good morning. In this video, I am going to demonstrate various aspects of authoring documents in Word. One of the features of Copilot that I really like is the ability to um, use it in different ways to create different parts of your document. So what I'm going to do is create an entire document from scratch using Copilot, showing a lot of the features that, it, that I've discovered so far. So let's start with uh, an introduction. So write a short introduction based on management requirements. <clears throat> As you can see, Copilot's uh, creating the um, summary text at the beginning. The, um, this is just general text. I haven't told it to look at any of my content at this point. So what we're doing is just generating an introduction, and then we get the option, once it's finished generating, to either keep the content or we can change it. So for example, make it more formal. I'm just going to keep this text here. However, I might not be very happy with that very first paragraph. So if I highlight the paragraph, click the Copilot icon, I can rewrite that content. So it's going to generate another draft of that paragraph, perhaps making it a little bit better. And you'll see here the content is different than the first version, um, and I have the option to replace it or insert it below. So I'll just go replace. Now the next thing I want to do is go into here and um, I'm going to start talking a wee bit about how SharePoint can help with contract management. So I've got an existing document which has um, information about this, so I'm going to reference that document by selecting it. And I've got a um, option here to browse my files. The browsing screen here is a little bit funky, so if I go out of here and back into my files again, it brings up the options, and I'm going to choose this white paper down here, which I've written on contract management. So using the white paper, tell me five things SharePoint can assist with four contract managers. Generate some text based on that, and let's see what it comes up with. One of the interesting things about Copilot is every time you uh, select a document and ask exactly the same question, you don't always get exactly the same result. So it's not picking; it's it's truly generative. So this will just work through that document. So it's reviewing the document, and it's coming up with a, a bunch of points. Now, what you'll notice when it does this is that the text that it's writing is kind of bullet pointed, but it's a bit lengthy. And so what we'll do is, once it's done this, is we'll simplify this text. So there we go, so it's putting some content out of my document. Now I can say, simplify. And use bullet points. Let's re so it's going to regenerate that same text, but this time it's going to change the formatting, and it's trying to simplify the text. Um, so now I can also ask it, perhaps I need to find out, well, how much is this actually going to cost me? So um, how much does SharePoint Online cost? Ask it the question, it's going to go out, look up the uh, internet, find the uh, pricing details, and it's going to bring that information back into my document. Oh, I didn't like that question, so let's just go. Licensing cost. Perhaps the question wasn't specific enough in this case. So I've just asked it again. Instead of the first time I asked, I didn't include the word licensing. Uh, and so now it's going out and it's finding the licensing costs. And it's presenting it as a bullet point list. Okay, so let's um, say we don't want that as a bullet point list, but we like the information. It's going to keep that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to say visualize as a table. So now it's going to take that text and convert it into a table for me. Nice and easy. I think I'll keep that table. Um, and it's kept the text as well. So I can just 
delete that text out if I want. Now let's finish off with a conclusion. So um, let's uh, ask Copilot again. Two. It's going to let me do it. Sometimes you need to hit a paragraph mark. Um, write a conclusion for this document. Write the conclusion. And you'll see it's not too bad. So what we've done is we've generated a introduction or first draft of a document. We've gone out and got the information like the key features of SharePoint. We've got the um, a bit of background on contract management. Um, we've got some pricing information and then we've been able to generate a conclusion from, from the document that we've created. Now, the last little step, little piece of the puzzle is we might want to send this to someone for review. So if I go into the little Copilot icon on the side here, I can ask it to um, create an email asking Bob to review this document. Give him a summary of the content. It's going to generate the summary email, which I can then send the link to this document with to Bob, and it will include um, a little bit of detail about the document, hopefully, and ask him for a review. So one of the things I really like about Copilot is that um, it's very fast at getting the bones of the document built for you, which is often one of the hardest parts of writing a document. So you'll see here it's created the email summary. For me, I can just cut and paste that into a message and send it off to Bob, and um, Bob is your uncle. Um, so now we've got the completed uh, reporting done, uh, report done, or the draft version of this document done. We can send it off. In fact, one thing I haven't done here is said keep for the conclusion, and you'll see it's done quite a nice job. Um, we There's many other features you can use within of Copilot within Word, uh, but this is a bit of a summary of some of the things that